So before that delivery came, what I was working on is this Facebook Marketplace stuff I was talking about. Uh, it's hard to see because the lighting right now, it's the sun is blasting in the doors, but that's a little bit better. Uh, basically, this is all larger stuff that's worth a decent amount of money. Uh, I could probably get more if I tried to sell it on Marketplace than take it down the flea market. Uh, and it's also stuff that I might have to sit on a little bit. Like how many, how many like people, uh, just your average person is going to need something like this, especially when I have like two or three of them. I'll post those on Marketplace, um, leave them out in my outdoor storage, and then when I you know, can work out a deal with someone, I'll meet up with them or they can do a porch pickup. Um, some of this stuff's a little bit cheaper. Um, I'll have to figure out what to do with that. But like same thing with like these big um, yard tools. I'll do better on these on Marketplace because they're like $30 a piece. Down the flea market, people aren't going to be willing to pay like for higher end stuff. Also a bunch of diapers. I'll match up all the sizes that are the same and post those as a lot on Marketplace for about half the price you would pay uh, at Target. And in, in something like this Melissa and Doug set, uh, same thing. Someone down the flea market is probably not going to want to spend you know, 50 or 100 bucks for that. So I try to price stuff at about half of retail and um, that's for like the local deals, but then I'm also willing to negotiate because you got to figure on average, I'm paying 10 to 15% of retail. So even if I sell it for half, I'm making money. But if they come back and make me an offer for say, uh, what would be maybe 80% off the item, if I really just want to get rid of it and I'm not, haven't had any interest, uh, then most likely I'll, you know, I'll take that deal to move on from the item recoup my money that I paid for it, plus a little bit of profit. So for the time being, I have my SUV, my truck. Um, at this point, I'm not sure if you've seen the video of my truck yet, but it will be posted. I bought a, uh, a big, right now it's kind of like a box truck. Uh, it was a chipper truck. I'm gonna turn that into a flatbed. It's still getting inspected. It, was, it failed inspection, went to the shop. It was getting a lot, a lot of mechanical work done. And now I went back to the inspection place today so hopefully they sign off on everything um, and I can uh, get that squared away. But basically I'll be able to put pallets right onto that truck. So this would be a, a scenario where this whole pallet would go in the truck and then I would take it to my home office and work on it. But for today, it needs to go into the SUV. The rear seats are out and I'm gonna pack as much into the truck as I can. So uh, let's see how this goes. Basically, things like a bocce ball set, that's too heavy to sell online. The chances of someone down the flea market wanting that and me carrying all that weight is probably not worth it. Um, these mop sets look good. I got three of these, so I'll load these up. And, and what I'm doing basically is I'm going to try to pack the back of this vehicle like a puzzle, and all the loose stuff can kind of get crammed in the nooks, nooks and crannies. So, like this, I won't put in now, uh, just because it's a loose item. Uh, same thing here. I'm looking for the bigger boxes, and I'll start filling the truck with these. Uh, some more size six diapers. This This is probably a flea market item, flea market yard sale. It's one of those floor mat things that you connect together like a puzzle. Um, I might only get, you know, I don't even know if they're all there, so I might only get a buck or two for that. But um, I'll put that on top of everything. So, really uh, excited about having this truck. And so basically, I won't have to do all this leg work twice. I have to load it up here. Then I have to take it home, we have to photograph it, then I have to move it out to my shed. So at least one of the steps will be cut out where I can just take this whole pallet, put it on the truck and take it home. Uh, that same mentality is true for the flea market. We'll process the, 
process the items here in the warehouse, palletize what's going to the flea market when I'm ready to go to the flea market for the day, pull up to the loading dock, drop a, um, a pallet or two on the truck with the forklift, and head straight to the flea market. Don't have to load or anything. At the end of the day, at the, at the flea market, we'll put everything back on the pallets on the truck, wrap them up, drive back to the warehouse, and then store it here. So that's the game plan. Um, I'm probably gonna hold off on buying any more pallets now that I, had, I just had six come in two weeks ago and I have 12 here today or coming. Six here now and six more coming. So I have enough inventory to last me probably through the winter. about it for this pallet. Uh, these last few things will fit in and then like my uh, like I said earlier like I said earlier my helper is coming he has a pickup truck so I may throw that box in there because I don't think it's fitting in the back of this truck but it gives you an idea of what you can get in an SUV pretty much a full pallet um, the air conditioner is going to go up and sit on top of that seat over there and then those last few suitcases can just go on top so that's what I've been used to, one pallet at a time. Uh, the new truck, I'll be able to take up to four pallets already wrapped up. If I was to break them down, I could take even more than that. So things are looking up, business is growing, and uh, stay tuned, I'll see what else we have for you guys today at the warehouse. Today, it's only about lunchtime now, 12.30. Um, going to grab some lunch here in a little bit, but then I do have another shipment coming, so I may be able to capture a little bit more footage of that. We act, the first guy didn't call, normally they call, or I asked for them to call 30 minutes ahead of time to give me a heads up. He did not call and just showed up, so I was like caught off guard by GoPro was in my truck. Uh, I was helping him back in, and before you know it, we were unloading, so I tried to grab a quick clip of him at the end. This guy, super nice guy named Derek, actually lives like across the street from this warehouse, which is pretty funny, small world. Um, but this, the inventory, he drove out to wherever the tractor trailer was, wherever the company works for, got in the tractor trailer and drove an hour and a half away, drove that hour and a half back to here, right next to where he lives. So pretty uh, small world, I guess you could say, but really nice guy. Um, and anyhow, I didn't get a whole lot of footage of that delivery because I was helping him unload. But I'll have more coming uh, shortly. Let's move this AC unit. All right, so the game plan, um, not this door, he had that already, but we're loading up some of the bigger loose stuff that's for like marketplace. Um, things that I know don't need to really be sorted. We're gonna try to take like the top layer, the loose stuff off of all these. Um, and then the boxes that are full of small stuff, I'm gonna sort those out later. So that's what the game plan is for today. What's going on guys? So I was going to end the video with kind of unloading all the, um, or should I say loading up all the Facebook Marketplace uh, potential items. Um, but now it's the next day, I haven't unloaded yet. My helper brought a load of like diapers and face perfect Facebook Marketplace stuff over already. Um, and I thought, you know what? Why not do a quick video to add to the my, my thoughts of what I was gonna have for the video I was posting was just kind of like, an update video but really um, I could do a video that kind of gives some tips and pointers on how I'm doing Facebook marketplace and uh, if time allows maybe show a little bit of the listing process though uh, I do normally do it on my phone so uh, but I should be able to show a quick uh, a quick bit of that so anyhow this is that load that you guys had seen at the warehouse we're now back at my house we're talking looking at suitcases uh, air bed diapers and wipes uh, just so much different stuff there is up up towards the middle seat there is an air conditioner um, I actually had in the new lot my uh, helper brought this back these are a couple things not the sunflower seeds because that's I'm snacking on those but a brand new cooler I'm pricing that at 10 um, this foot spa I'm gonna ask 10 bucks for a marketplace and then this air conditioner <clears throat> is brand new uh, I'm gonna hold that until summertime uh, it's fall right now <clears throat> and then this is like my seats and the tools I took out yesterday to make room to load all this stuff up so uh, just about one pallet will fit uh, in this truck when I use the entire back some of that room in the back seats so 
anyhow i'm gonna i'm gonna bring everything in and start adding this stuff to what i already have here which i'll show you meaning like if there's matching items or the same size diapers I'll, I'll kind of sort them together that way in the listing i can put if there's a quantity of two and then if like uh maybe a discounted price if they buy both if the person just wants one and buys it then i can go in the listing instead of marketing it sold i'll just change it to quantity of one until i sell out so i kind of you kind of got to be on top of it it's not like ebay where it's automatically going to uh, reduce your quantity at least not as of yet um, if there is a way to do that drop it down below in the comments because i'm not quite sure i haven't seen that yet so anyhow <clears throat> uh, say i have two of these air beds i will put down in the description that i have a quantity of two so that's what i'm working on today uh, stay tuned All right, so a little bit of workout. Uh, step one is done. Um, these couple big items, I will just photo outside. Um, this air conditioner I'm gonna hold on to. I'm just gonna put it on one of my shelves and back in my uh, shed. And then uh, I'm gonna have to pull out this box, the deck box, and make sure it's all there. And then this, this Melissa and Doug looks like it's completely sealed up. So that's a giant doctor set, and that will be good for a marketplace, especially around. Uh, Christmas time people are always looking for getting you know discounted gifts for their kids that maybe they wouldn't you know They may not be willing to pay 200 or 250 dollars for but you know for a hundred bucks or something like that It might be worth it to them. So these things no point in bringing outside or uh, Inside they'll stay outside and I'll work on them there, but um, all the stuff that's inside I'm going to go uh, bring downstairs sort it all out show you what I got and maybe show you uh, listing a few items. And hey, we might even get lucky and sell a few things today. Um, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, if I can get a few things up before like two, there's a good chance that I may even have some pickups coming today. So stay tuned, uh, more to come. Hey, real quick, before I start bringing everything down, I just want to show you a few things that are already here from when my helper Garrett brought stuff over. Um, so this is the stuff I'll be working on. As you can see, I, ha I already have one of those um, dust mop things that was here already and I'm bringing like three or four more of those down This is all like sleeping bags and tents. I think there's at least another sleeping bag and then there's all these diapers uh, And basically some of this stuff is stuff. I'm working on but wasn't part of like the marketplace but things like diapers uh, newborn diapers these here these boxes are all wipes and there's diapers from really just from here over and then these uh, suitcases here as well. Some of this other stuff is projects that I've, I'm working on testing and I just kind of put on the back burner because I got all the Target stuff in. So those are like high-end shillaged uh, digital key entry locks for your door. They go for like around $100 a piece. Um, there's some more iHome stuff that I need to go through. There's a Wii back there. Um, all these gloves are listed and they're just kind of uh, overstocked because there's so many of them. I didn't want to fill my bins up. So... Anyhow, uh, mainly the diapers, the two suitcases, and this stuff here, as well as that little Honeywell humidifier. That's all stuff that that was brought yesterday, and I'm going to be adding to that with everything you saw me unload. And then I'll start, once I have everything sorted out the way I want, I'll start posting it on Facebook. So that's how we're gonna tackle the Facebook Marketplace deals today and see if we can't make some money. Was that about 20 trips up and down the steps so the one good thing about liquidation is you don't need a gym membership um luckily i only have one flight of steps to my this is my basement it's converted completely to my uh, online resale business but um some people i know maybe walk entry level they're walking the second or third floor or their uh room is all the way upstairs so keep that in mind as you're trying to grow like how much 
how far do you have to move your inventory? And that's one of the good positives about getting the warehouse space or having access to that is it's gonna make it a lot easier on me to move a lot of inventory easily. So I'm a little out of breath, but this just gives you an idea. Uh, we have all these mop things, uh, O Cedar, Easy Ring, and Quick Ring. They are actually selling for around $30 online. So I gotta do a little bit more research. I may end up converting these to be on eBay, unless it's like, it looks like it might've been lightly used or it's missing parts, I can break it down. All this is like sleeping bags, tents, airbeds, a couple airbeds. Normally with these airbeds, if they're completely sealed up like this, um, they're brand new. It's really hard to pull an airbed, like look at this one. It's hard to pull an airbed out and use it or roll it out and fill it up and get it back in the same box. It's almost impossible. So I'm pretty comfortable with saying that these are gonna be like new. And then you can see all the different diapers I have. Those are all sorted by different sizes. So for the most part, these are all going to be size one, um, size twos. I have a couple of sets of newborns back there. And then like size three, these are all wipes right here. Um, that's more size threes and fours, I think. Size five and then size six. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a drink of water, take a quick breather, and I'm gonna start posting a few items on uh, Facebook Marketplace and we'll see if we get any hits today and can make some quick cash. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I got my first listing. Um, I'm getting ready to list our, I'm gonna do it this two pack here of a huge lot of 186 size five diapers with eight packs of wipes, so 800 wipes. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is these wipes are only about $12 new. So for me to ask say five bucks or six bucks on Marketplace, like it's really not worth my time to deal with you know the questions and um, having somebody come out. I try to do a minimum of $10 if I have um, like a bunch of the same thing, but ultimately I want to be like $20 or more uh, to make it worth the time and effort to go ahead and post it and do everything. So for instance, this set of, these are $30 and then this is about 12. So it's about $42 worth of stuff. I'm gonna post these two items together for $12, I'm sorry, for $20. Um, so about 50% of retail value, and we'll see if we get any hits. Um, I did notice as well that this box here is supposed to have 800 wipes and only has six packs. So I'm going to probably combine this lot of wipes with another one of the big diaper boxes. Because most likely, if you're buying you know, that many diapers, you could probably use wipes as well. So I'll find another large, maybe this one here, the size threes. Um, I may even be able to, to do like a size one and a size two, cause like for most people, if their kids just getting ready to get out of size one diapers, they know they're already gonna need to start stocking up for size two. So I could always do a um, combine like the same exact up and up, this is a Target brand, and the same exact ones up there, size two, and sell those together. So that's where my head's at. That's what I'm trying to get about $20 ticket price for Facebook Marketplace. So let's go ahead and list these two. All right, so my basement is so packed full of stuff right now. I don't feel like taking each individual lot over to the photo table and doing it over there. Uh, I just grabbed a backup. Um, it's actually just a curtain. But sometimes if we have like an all white item, we'll either change it to a black background or a tan background. So this is just kind of like, a, it, I can use this as a background to kind of hide all the other stuff. You can also flip it and you can see how it's like, a, it was a return because obviously someone made a mess of it. But I could flip it the other way as well. So all I want to do is just kind of block off some of this other stuff for the photo. And that way I can photo just these two items and people don't think that they're getting a bunch of other diapers in the box. So uh, it's not going to be a perfect picture. Sorry, I knocked, I knocked the tripod over when I was moving my chair. But it's, it's not going to be a perfect picture, but it will do the trick for uh, Facebook. Facebook's not like eBay. Um, where you really want to kind of show off and make your background look perfect and compete with people who are selling stock items. Um, I almost just want this to look like it's maybe like a, um, like maybe I was just taking the picture in my house in front of say my curtains in my living room. So not a big deal. Uh, the lighting's not too, too great for this, but it will be good enough for marketplace. So quick snap like that. Uh, I'm going to do a close-up of each one. 
And uh, normally if I had a little bit more room too, and I didn't want to do it on my photo table, I would also just do it on the floor. So if I could back up far enough, once I get a few things listed, I'll just snap them right with the hardwood floor in the background. So just doing a couple close-ups. And I also, on this one, I want to show that they're all brand new. They're all sealed up. Okay, so that's one listing. Now you have two options. One is you can put like a, a, a post-it note on there with the price or uh, like I have these flea market stickers here. I could do that. And then later on, like tonight, I could post all of the listings at once on my phone. Like after dinner, I'm just sitting on the couch. Maybe the kids are watching a movie. I could sit there and make uh, postings on Facebook and still watch a movie because it's that easy. Or um, you can just do it as you go. So for the first couple items, we're just going to do it as we go to see if we get any hits. So uh, I'm going to go to Facebook and I'm going to click on the little store up here, which is Marketplace. As you can see that. I don't know how great this is going to come through on camera, but I also don't have the time to hook my phone up to the computer and do like a uh, screen share type of thing. So you're going to click on your little icon, which is you. And I am going to actually, I'm going to, for this case, that would be the, you click on that to check on your items or, um, you know, you can relist or refresh them. I'm going to click on sell. I'm going to click on items. And we'll add photos. So basically the photos I took um, are going to be, so see like the coolers there and that foot bath that was outside. I already photographed those coolers and I have my little price on there. So later I'll remember what I wanted to sell it for. But basically I'm just going to select the ones that I want for Facebook. And then I'm going to put, uh, these are, the brand on these is up and up. So up and up size five diapers. And you could also use voice. So diapers and wipes. Um, if you want to put the account, you can. I'm going to put $20 and I'm going to put disposable diapers as a category. Condition, these are going to be used like new. And the reason being, I mean, I have to double check because since it's diapers, they may not let you sell in that category. I might have to change that to new. But for now, I'm going to keep it that way and see if they let me. Diaper size is going to be five. And for description, let me see. I normally have a shortcut on my phone. Uh, where's it at? Here we go, notes. So I have all these different notes, and I have one right here for Facebook Marketplace. And what I do is I select this, and I copy it once. Once I can get it to copy. So I have a note. Um, the first part is a paragraph of the about what the item is. Then I put... Um, what the like basically cross posted meaning i'm posted in multiple groups and then the pickup is in bel air maryland i'll probably change that to porch pickup because for these items i'll just do porch pickup and i also put if it's listed it should be still available due to spam please ask a specific question about the item or let me know when you want to buy it or pick it up otherwise i may not answer to your response so i kind of get irritated with a lot of stuff that's like is it available or hey if i send you money right away can you uh can you ship it and all this stuff I want to be very specific. This is how I want to sell it. This is what I'm asking. Um, these are your options. I don't have time to mess around with like uh, with Facebook anyway. With a lot of the, um, a lot of times you just get BS remarks. Like I can't tell you how many times somebody says, "Is it available?" I respond, "Yes, it's still available," and they never respond back. Like it happens all the time. So most of the time, I won't even uh, respond to that because I put a note in here. Due to spam, please ask a specific question. So instead of them saying, is it available, say, um, hey, I can buy this today. I can be there at 8 o'clock, stuff like that. So real quick, I do want to change this. Uh, I can edit it on color notes is what I use. I'm going to just say porch pickup. I'm not going to meet somebody out over a $20 item. If it feels like $100 or more, I would meet them somewhere. And then I'll edit this other stuff in Facebook. So once I copy this once, it'll be in there. And now I can go back to Facebook and my description here, I can paste it in. I'm not sure how great you guys can see that, but I'm going to get this one listed real quick. 
And I'm sure most of you watching this probably know how to do this. I won't go through this every time. I'm just going to list a few of them and um, maybe do like a time lapse and then let you know if I get any responses. So new and open box or damaged package. Retail value. I like to always do that. Retail value for this item is about, I'm going to say over, over $40. Only asking $20. This says minor assembly required. That must have been from an item I was selling previously that didn't have minor assembly. And I put cross-posted porch, porch pickup in Maryland with my actual city. And then what I told you about if it's still listing. You can add tags if you want. I don't really bother. Uh, don't worry about boosting the post. So we're going to click next and see. Um, for some reason, my location is a little bit off. So I'm going to fix that to approximately... I don't ever put it exactly on my house. I just put it in a, like the nearest cross street. And delivery method, I'm going to do um, local pickup only for this. Next. Now, I'm in a bunch of different groups. Um, I'm in like local groups. So I do a couple local groups. I'm going to add this. They're like resale groups. So it's like an online yard sale. I'm going to tag them to all my local groups. So I think I have about four or five. Um, that's actually, so one, two, three, four, five, I have six groups I'm going to tag this to, and now it's publishing. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to go into review, and that's what that noise was right there. If this gets posted and it says it's active, I know that I can sell diapers in like new condition, and it won't be an issue. Um, this is the first time I posted diapers on Marketplace, so this is kind of new for me. If it comes back and says, uh, I think it will say denied or not posted or something along those lines, it's because you're not following a certain policy. And that policy could be that diapers have to be new. I'm willing to change this to new because technically those are new diapers. If I took and threw the box away and just sold these diapers like this, they're new. Um, now, new as far as like, if you're selling, that's like selling some, someone something new at say a yard sale or an online yard sale. I couldn't sell this on Amazon or eBay as new. I could sell them as like open box or missing packaging. So that's not technically new. But for like a for a Facebook marketplace, I would be comfortable with that because if having several kids, if I bought this from someone, I'd say, oh yeah, these are new. They're still factory sealed up. Um, I have no issue uh, putting these on my children. So there's the first one down and we'll see if we get any hits on that. All right, so three listings up. Uh, one is pretty much pending uh, the final sale, and then I'll remove that one. I'm gonna go through and keep on trucking through these. As you can see, within probably five, five, 10 minutes, I listed three of them. Um, that's a pretty good bit of money right there. Um, we had two at $20 and one at 30, so that's 70 bucks worth of stuff listed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get most of this stuff posted, maybe not all of it, and then later on, I'll jump on here and give you an update and maybe try to get some video of any potential customers coming by and, and putting money in. So um, stay tuned, and I hope you like the video. All right, so it's about 2.30, um, I guess a little bit over an hour, and I listed um, everything, all the diapers you see here, um, those back there, so, but not this tall pile here, those size sixes. Uh, I kind of blocked myself in, and to be honest with you, with this many diaper listings, I don't want to get too confused and have like 20 different listings and then have a, an issue trying to find them. If I was going to do um, all of them today, I would probably put like a note like uh, in the listing, like D1, D2, and I'll put a tag on them, like diapers one, diapers two, diapers three, so each lot's numbered and make it easier to find. But right now, by looking at the picture, if it, someone asks me about buying it, I can tell but have I, if I was to add those and all those, uh, probably not only would it take me about another half an hour to an hour, but it would, uh, I would need to go back and put some sort of organization in into uh, labeling each of the different lots. So every one of these lots is twenty to thirty dollars a piece. So we'll say twenty dollars a piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and a couple were 30, so we'll just say 10. So right there, that's about $200 worth of stuff that was listed in about an hour. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, right now, I'm going to go outside and move some of those air conditioners and stuff into my outdoor storage. And I think there was 
uh, Melissa and Doug thing, and maybe that deck box. I'm going to look at those two items. Uh, probably won't end up filming that because I don't think I'm going to get to posting them now anyway. But I will try to film uh, at the end of this video if I make any deals. The lady that wants uh, this stuff here, it was these two sets of whoopsies, knocked over my mops. Um, a lady that wanted these two sets of diapers here messaged me about when these cucumber wipes were, were in a different lot. So I moved them over, told her five bucks for those, and I took them off of the other lot. So this is now a $25 order. She's coming around seven o'clock. And let's see, I just got another message from Facebook. Oh, someone is asking if the item is still available, which obviously if I didn't take it down, it hasn't sold yet. So this is a $25 lot. And based on the picture, it's the, see it's like the blue and red box. Well, that's gonna be that one right there, that light blue and red box, size one diapers. So I'm just gonna say, yes, it's available. I kind of hate doing that, but it is what it is. I wish people would follow the directions, but maybe she will get back to me and say she actually does want to buy them. So anyhow, it seems like if you have new open box diapers that are still still sealed up in the bags, they're probably going to be a pretty good seller for your online um, market Facebook marketplace. Assuming you live in like a metropolitan area, uh, if you're kind of out in the country and it's you know not as populated, it might be a little bit harder, but so far, um, 25 hours here, if this lady buys this lot that just messaged me, that's 50 bucks that I would have made in you know less than an hour. It's not really going to take me any time to meet up with them. So I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, this is just one more, one more uh, money-making online revenue source for you using Facebook Marketplace. Um, I prefer it now a lot better than Craigslist. It's much easier to post there. I don't have to get on a computer. I can do it from my phone. Like I said, I can take photos at one point in the day and then post it and then like later in the evening, much easier. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys are using Marketplace, uh, put your comments down below. And uh, this up, the next video you'll see will be hopefully me making some money uh, selling some stuff. But real quick, before I go, let's check the last message, see if we're going to sell, uh, sell that other item. Uh, let's see, we got a comment. Someone's commenting on the post. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. So I just got a comment. So on one of the groups, not a direct message, but on this group for um, the size one diapers, someone said, I want all. And then she said, interested, I can pick them up this evening. So it looks like someone's interested in that as well. So uh, diapers are selling quick and the next videos you see will probably be some uh, some porch pickups so Hey, we got the, uh, I got the memo, so thank okay, you. Good. I wanted to make sure first. Yep, no problem. Dinner wasn't quite ready yet, so it worked oh, out good. okay. <laughs> you got here pretty quick. Yeah, I just work at Heart to Heart Transportation in the dispatch. Gotcha. All right, thank, thank you. you. Have a good one. Good night. Yeah. All right, so I had about between yesterday when you saw the last time you saw me recording and talking through the posting, uh, I got about 10 listings up, and of which I've already sold five. 
Um, three have already been picked up. Two people I did accept Venmo uh, ahead of time because they wouldn't pick up on Monday and they wanted to. They wanted it that bad that they were willing to pay ahead of time. Uh, and the one of those, one of those two people bought two lots of diapers. So that's really good. I think I have three lots left and then a few more that I need to have listed. Um, I also listed the big Melissa and Doug thing that I was showing you guys, that doctor's set. That sold for full price. They're on their way now. And just one more tip. If you have anything similar to the item you're selling, go ahead and let the customer know, hey, I also have this, any interest, it's you know $10. So I did that exact thing with this Melissa and Doug, um, I guess it's dust sweep mop set. And I just let her know, hey, you're buying the the doctor set, would you also like this for $10? So that added 10, 10 more bucks onto the order. So now $110 order, they're on their way. I'm gonna set the GoPro up and uh, and sell these items. So Facebook Marketplace, definitely a way. So far, I believe, counting yesterday and Venmo, about $250 in sales. So it's going good. All right, so that was that $110 Melissa and Doug sale. Um, just to give you perspective, that Melissa and Doug item at Target is regularly $199. They have it marked down for $169. Uh, I got that first lot for exactly around 10%. So that means I paid about $20 for that item. I was able to sell it for $100. Uh, and then that little mop set, that was going for $20 at Target. So I paid $2 and they bought that for $10 as well. So I was into those items for uh, $22 bucks and sold them for $110. So really good profit margin on that and it's all cash deal. But uh, I hope that just goes to show you guys with liquidation. Um, if you can buy the stuff for the right price, you can deal. You can do the local flip game without having to worry about shipping, eBay fees, all that stuff. So um, I do think it's a very viable option. And honestly, I don't even mess with Craigslist anymore. I pretty much do everything straight to Marketplace just because it's so easy to list. And there's more and more people in there. And I think I'm ultimately going to end up creating my own page and start telling people to follow me on there and post deals on there directly um, so I can manage it a little bit better. When I post, it'll go it'll go instantly, it'll go active, not only on the regular Facebook Marketplace, but it'll go active into my group. And um, I think I'll be able to build a pretty good following doing that. So let me know what you guys think down below. I hope you liked the video, and if you wouldn't mind, just give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.